This channel is now under the control of the revolutionary United Players Front. I have taken Luby as my hostage. I will not let him go until we get 10,000 likes. And we will only play for the nations like sus. How do you call this nation? Yes, this is the name. And play. I will now allow my prisoner to play in my name. Sus actually starts as a vassal of the Moroccans and we're going to betray them. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to check whatever rivals they got. And we're going to start improving relations with these rivals. Because eventually, these rivals will be willing to support our independence. There you go. Castile is only two away. Tlemcen is only 20. And okay, apparently Portugal is not even close to it so i'm not gonna improve with them but lemchen might be an extra option here so what we're gonna do is first off go for an air apparently one one two oh my god please die dude let's also start the campaign by sending a scornful insult to the Moroccans, which gives us more relations with their enemies and that's why we got support independence from the castilians now maybe even the tlemcheni nope not yet but we'll get it eventually so whenever we declare independence war against the moroccans we're gonna get the castilians on our side we also want to get a bigger army before that happens of course if we're lucky and these guys also become a little bit more disloyal and by these guys i mean the other vassals of morocco we might be able to get an alliance with them you can only get the alliance if they become disloyal however so to improve our chances we're going to be hiring the free company in the province of sus to get a general as well hey, actually not bad we got one shock one siege pretty decent gonna get one stability whilst we're at it as well we're we're quite close to getting Plem Chen into the war. Maybe a few more months and then we can actually declare our independence war. We can have up to 54 maximum bank loans. More than enough. Especially since afterwards we'll take the gold mine in Tafilad for ourselves. And we'll have a lot of gold income. Oh, okay. So the reason they're not allying us is because of our army strength. In that case, I can just get more troopers. And that's going to make them actually ally me. Let's get 2,000 more units. Get a loan to recruit the second army. Boyish Nakadu. Oh, dude dude we're so close 41 42 let's get 1000 more units in that case that should be enough for us to get the alliance then by the way what i did with the estates is just a standard estates here with the plus one mana privileges plus i'm giving out the uh, minus 25 advisor cost reduction privileges right now because i did manage to stab up once and i'm getting the prestige as well which should help a little bit in the coming war there you go boys asks for support independence and they agree Let's go to war. We're gonna stack wipe this army first in Tafiloth and siege down only Tafiloth for ourselves. Make sure we also set this as our vital interest so that nobody else actually tries and take this stuff. And if they do take it, they give it back to us. They're allied to Granada. Hmm. Juicy Granada. Stack wipe these boys, and Granada's gonna be no problem since my beloved Castile's gonna take care of them. Let me actually give them the objectives here. Something sus in Tafiloth, guys. It's us. It, we're, we're sus in Tafiloth. Our land first limit also increased because we are an independent nation now so we're not super over our land force limit we do have to lower our war exhaustion and we're gonna have to stab up a little bit afterwards probably should have taken the advisor cost reduction privileges after i declared the war oh yeah baby look at all them castilian sieging down granada truth be told though guys this is extremely rng and i highly recommend you restart until you get the castilians at least to support your independence if not Castile plus somebody else. Ah, yes, Tlemcen. Why not waste all of our power by coming into the same province that I'm already sieging, for Christ's sake? Why don't you go and siege Fez, Tlemcen? Oh, dude, the Moroccans are literally right next to me. Please tell me I'm gonna get this. No, I didn't get the province, but they're not attacking me, though. So I'm kind of glad that Tlemcen's here. I'm not gonna complain about you guys anymore. I apologize. <laughs> I am confused what the hell are they doing because they're not going for my capital, but just in case, I'm gonna set up my uh, defensive edict to hold out for a little bit longer. Right, they're just unseaging down Tafilal. And of course, this dumbass fort still didn't fall, man. 49% for real. Hey, we got the fort, everybody. The fact that I have this one siege for this general does help massively. Oh, they actually attached to me. So wherever I go, the Tlemcheni go as well. That's cool. I like that. Oh, hold on a second. I actually have more troops than the Moroccans then because I got 10,000 plus 9,000 from Tlemcheni. That's more than the Moroccans. You know what? I'm going to actually 
actually siege down Fez though because I have a strong suspicion if I do attack them because this is also a mountain fort I might not win that battle I'm gonna try and play it defensively a little bit plus I'm also waiting for the Castilians to finish sieging this and come help me out pretty much a godsend that uh Tlemcen joined in in the independence war otherwise I would have been just me against the Moroccans until the Castilians arrive the fact that they're carpet sieging my country is really bad because that's gonna ruin my economy and I might actually go bankrupt during this so I have to be careful with this I might have to turn back a little bit actually I could wait for the Castilians to take more land and stuff but I'm just gonna white piece the uh, Granada because this way the Castilians are gonna come and help me and prioritize that of course please fall at 21 okay say uh Castile you sure you got enough troops to siege that fort over there bro please fall at 28 <laughs> no no again no oh really okay so this fort falls at 7% but mine doesn't fall at 28 for real now AI for real and what happened with me targeting this as vital interest Castile how about you give me this fort god damn it because I actually want it oh this is really bad because I really wanted the coastline my peace deal was gonna be the coastline up to Tangiers now I have to change the peace deal bruh oh dude they literally were about to take the fort and they moved away so they can stack wipe this stupid Castilian army ah oh, that is literally a godsend right there and you deserve it Castile because you suck because you're taking my fort third time this is actually reaching 28% is it gonna fall now no four times it still didn't fall are you serious for the fifth time oh inshallah guys only 699 days for sus to take morocco that's a weird that's a sus number isn't it guys so considering what castile did to me those bastards you know i have to take this peace deal where i go through the land to get to the sea it's important that i get to the sea guys because i can raid coastlines and by getting to the sea i can get all my money problems solved by raiding the coastlines of the christian nations around including the castilians who are basically helping me get independence right now <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. You gotta run for these boys. And also, I have a huge amount of war exhaustion. I'm really gonna just use some of my uh, diplo points to lower this. To also boost up our stability a little bit. I know I wasted a lot of my points, but it's better than just, you know, sticking with minus two stability and eight war exhaustion. You know what? I don't need to take the last fort that they have in Marrakesh. I could technically just peace out now because I have the making gains modifier. This money is mostly going to the uh, Castilians, but I really don't care i just want to be independent so i can start raiding all the coastlines around the world morocco is gonna go away in uh, the next war against them though i'm gonna finish off whatever they have let's start actually fixing up our country we're gonna core up these lands first because we got the gold mine in uh tafilal and let's actually focus on admin points because we're gonna need a ton of admin points to fully core up all of the lands we just took we can also do this mission expansion of sus nice and we can get some rivals morocco of course shall be our rival we also can send our second merchant and of course i'm gonna send them to collect in sevilla we're also gonna send the trade ships in sevilla to get a little bit more trade power there despite the fact that lemchen basically helped out so much in this war i'm gonna backstab them and i'm gonna take all of their lands in five years <laughs> oh no castile why art thou loveth not me holy mother of god the moroccan separatist army is bigger than my entire army bro all right that's that's a problem i'm gonna have to actually recruit some more troops now let's go let's get some boyos in here Ooh la la we caught these boys on our capital fort so we're gonna have a defensive battle here hell yeah boyos stacking the panicum all right let's go over back to the border so a few years have passed we have essentially made everything into a full core we're taking 55 ducats in loans and we have a positive balance not amazing but still positive and we're gonna double our gold income in a few months after we develop this to 10 develop problem is that the Tunisian scum have actually attacked Tlemcen and I still have a few months until the truce is over so I'm not going to be able to fully annex Tlemcen in this war. Hopefully I manage to get a few provinces here and there and the Tunisians don't just fully annex them. You scumbag Tunisian! Alright boys let's go. We got our time now. Time to destroy the Temtani. Temtani? I don't know what the Temtani is but um, I'll try to destroy the Tlemcheni. <laughs> Sometimes when I get too excited I forget words okay? Just don't 
don't don't judge. Looks like uh, Tlemcen's army got stack wiped. They had 9,000. They got down to 3,000 now. So I'm uh, assuming the Tunisians did that because I didn't even see their armies on this side. Whoa, boys. Portugal attacked Morocco. Portuguese conquest of Tangiers. I automatically assumed they attacked. Oh, dude. Granada allied the Ottomans. Ah, <laughs> I want to see now the uh, Castilians try and take Granada. You know what? I'm Sunni as well. I'm going to try and ally the Ottomans also. Let's try and improve with them. Maybe they're going to be my next best buddy over here. You never know. Inshallah, guys. Tala Imsan is now ours. And the Tunisians did not take these two provinces. So I'm going to be able to take these myself. I don't know what the Tunisians are doing, actually. I don't even know where their armies are. Oh, I see what's happening. They're actually attacking Fezan. So Fezan's their main target, I assume. No, no, Orsanis is this one. So this is their main target. I don't know. Tunisia's just being weird. Whatever the case, I'm going to use my army to wipe out the uh, Jenny army. Since that's going to be it after this, I'm assuming I can piece out everything I want. Yep, I can take even that. Even that I can take. Hell yeah, boys. Let's face it. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Everything I just said is irrelevant because I got 100% war score since, uh, you know, Tunis just peaced out. Coalition, Morocco, and Granada. Who gives a schnitzel? Look at my mouth. Who gives a schnitzel? All right, now let's core all of this. We're still admin tech three, by the way. Uh, in case you're wondering why, it's because I've been coring a lot of stuff. Let's change this also to centralized effort. I want to lower the autonomy in Tafilald as much as possible. Less autonomy equals more money from uh, gold. Luckily, we took cast deer, and that means we can go into the uh, Mazabi areas. So let's uh, get a spy network in Mazab established. Tunis doesn't like us. They just made us their rival. Hell yeah, boys. Gloves are down. Let's go kill some uh, Tunisian. Oh, you know what? They got 13 thousand and their ally granada is not gonna join hell yeah i'm actually gonna do it now tech actually let me just uh, lower the autonomy everywhere so i don't need to do it afterwards and now that we lower the autonomy let's go ahead and attack the tunisians booyah nakabo let's go for dara dara shall be ours i don't have a fleet i got six ships so i'm probably not gonna be able to do anything against their fleet so i'm just gonna stay in the harbor i feel like i really should get a mercenary company as well i'm almost at my land force limit free companies not that bad let's get the free company and let's attach the other mercenary company to it i wouldn't have normally attacked them i would have just attacked into this areas but they really have very few troops 14,000 and 11,000 uh backup in manpower is really not much for the tunisians normally tunis would ally either the ottomans granada or maybe even the mamluks i've seen them ally sometimes so this is just extremely lucky and i'm gonna take advantage of it it is super rng guys like i said oh no you bastard Bastards. Oh, snaps. Oh, you mother... Oh, okay, we can run away. Oh, I was about to say I'm gonna lose all of my army here, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're really gonna attack me, you mother snappers. Please tell me I'm gonna make it in time. I'm not gonna make it in time. Seven days, please. Two days. Oh, I made it in time. I won that, though. Whew. I won that. I didn't check what rolls I had got before, but I assume I got good rolls. I don't know. Oh, wow. Portugal just took two provinces connecting North Africa to uh, Europe here. I think this is going to cause problems with the Castilians. I'm sure the Castilians have this as vital interest or at least strategic interest. They might still not cancel the alliance, though. So I got a little bit of a dilemma here. If I move my troops away from here, I'm sure they're going to attack me in Dara. I don't want that to happen, and I'm just going to sit here until I take the Fort Indara. Even though there's an easy target here next to me, I'm sure they got some more troops somewhere behind. Oh, no. Shit. I didn't look. I didn't look and they're attacking me. Oh, God. This is why you're always supposed to look at what you're doing. Alright, they're gonna win this. 100% they're gonna win this. I got a 1. They got a 0. But they got a great general. They got what is this? 2 shock general. Frack me. Nah, this is bad. This is really bad. Alright, let's go away. Let's go back. They have to take this fort before they get to us. So we have enough time to recover our ship. Oh man, Portugal, too many province from Morocco. I really don't like them anymore. I hate you, Portugal. I hate you. God damn it. My truce finishes in 64. Quite a few years until then. We got to finish this war until then. So let's go ahead and attack them over here. Make sure that we also consolidate our troopers. And we should win this because this is a defensive battle. So please let's win this. They got 7%. This is going to fall if we don't win this. All right, boys. All right, let's go. Let's go. They retreated halfway through that battle. That was a tactical retreat on the AI's part. Siege of 
Ara take three. Small Tunisian army, you say? Let's uh, take them out, shall we, boys? Oh, God, they got a lot more next to them. Ah! Should have expected this. I knew this would happen. Let's get out of there. Let's go back to Dara. You know what? I'm cool with this. They're sieging this down whilst I'm sieging down Dara. Let's uh, set up the defensive edict in this Highlands fort. Let's see you take a Highland fort, you bastards, before I take... Oh, come on. They already broke the wall. Seriously? I was going to say before I take Dara, but now it's pretty much freaking obvious who's going to take who. Actually, it's starting a little bit promising. I got 21. They got zero. If this falls at zero, I'm going to delete my channel. Seriously. Oh, come on. 14% at least I don't need to delete my channel all right at least that we got that oh look at that boys we got Dara before they got that one surprisingly but this did go up to 28% so um not really amazing still let's uh try and win some battles here actually gonna attack Togurt after their army moves over to Titeri Daria go Togurt's army gonna get Shtak and Vipen and then Tunisia's army oh my god are you actually in the war for 20 days what Jesus mother of god I actually thought that they're gonna survive until the Tunisian reinforcements arrive. That would not have been good for me. And now let's get some good amazing dice rolls please. I love you very much Aaron Jesus. Thank you. I love you. You're the best. Meanwhile rebels already took the freaking fort. Let's wait until they get movement locked and now we can attack. Hopefully win the battle of Titeri. You mother schnappers. Are you seriously doing this right now? Wow. Cannot believe that just happened. I hate you. I hate you so much Tunis. You're the worst Tunis I've ever known. I'm gonna enact some revenge for what you just did to my boys in Mitija, and I'm gonna crush you and you retreat it again. This latest update is actually making the AI competent at fights. What? Oh, thank you so much, Portugal, for killing off the Moroccans for me. Let's continue to develop this gold mine here. We want to go up to uh, 10 development. Noise. Ugh, the 122 is now uh, our new leader. Ew. You know, on the bright side, we almost took this fort. I think if I say the magic word, it's it's not going to fall. <laughs> or maybe it falls with a little bit of a delay. I I, I don't know how it works. Kill Zeb Tuniski in the Mitiski. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have to take out the rebels before they take this fort also. Otherwise, I'm gonna struggle having two rebel forts whilst I'm at war with the Tunisians. So let's go here next. Are you shitting me? They actually got the free company 9,000 units? Bro, get out of here. Get out of here. So they're up to 15,000 again. Oh my freaking god. Oh, I'm gonna have to burger loans. No more schnappling about. They actually piss me off and I'm gonna get the proper mercenary armies to crush them and make them learn that you don't mess with me. Not when I'm playing as sus. I'm gonna kill all of your troopers here. There's nothing you can do to stop me, sir. I kid you not, this went from minus 7% to 21 with walls broken in one freaking tick, dude. Meanwhile, for me to take it back, it took me 214 days, even though they had a 200 soldiers garrison. And honestly, I don't get where they keep getting the troops from, man. Like, they've recruited so many mercenary companies, and they're still not bankrupt. Kudos to the AI. Seriously, kudos to the AI. They've really improved the AI massively with the latest update. I've even noticed how the AI starts to reinforce during combat once in a while that's basically a multiplayer move right there boys jesus mother of god dude it's already truce with morocco's over and i still am at war with the tunisians oh man this is not good this is actually not good uh let's kill off some of them i think i'm just gonna piece them out with whatever i can get right now let's make sure that we got the uh, making gains modifier no they got the making gains modifier what kill off their armies again i guess all right it's back to us having the making gains modifier so let's take uh, there you go. This looks perfect right here. We're not able to get any money, but the problem is that if I don't piece them out now, I'm going to have bigger issues. I need to start a second war against the Moroccans, finish off what's left of these boys here, and uh, I also need to start my war against Mazab and take these guys out also. Let's go with the Mazab war first. Kobaladre, Jared. Let's go, boys. Oh, you sneaky Tunisians. They attacked Jared, and they're not giving me military access, so now they're going to take this province. You you sneaky boys. We can also declare the other war against the uh, Moroccans now. No need to wait. I'm not sure what Tunis is at here. They just pieced them out without annexing them. So, okay. Finally, we got the fort in Marrakesh so we can attack these guys here. They've been everything down like crazy, man. Because I had to have most of my army in uh, Marrakesh to siege it down. You can run, but you cannot really hide Marrakesh. That's the problem. And with Morocco annexed, we've basically become Morocco, I could say. Except we don't have the provinces uh, in the north here, but we'll get them later on. And I think there is this really cool achievement for sus. Yep, we gotta get spies in three countries that have good relations with us. So let's 
do that now. Let's try and get our spies caught in uh, three different nations that have uh, positive relations. I do have 256 uh, development. So I need 300 development to become a kingdom. Not that far off. Really not that far. Portugal just chose the worst time in the world to attack me. I got half of my army stranded here and I'm struggling to get access from the Tunisians. Luckily though, they didn't get any of their allies in the uh, war. At least not yet. They can still call them in afterwards. Hopefully that does not happen though. I got no allies myself. My mercenary companies also are basically empty of manpower so I'm gonna have to use some uh, regular infantry units. Oh, it looks like we can actually bring our boys back. That's awesome. That means we can actually prepare a proper defense. Holy schnapps. They just recruited 6,000 more units all of a sudden. They really are going full on on me, aren't they? Gonna be honest, this war is not going amazing, boys. My only chance is actually fending off the Portuguese in this province here since this is a defensive fort. They got minus two by default. Please give me some good dice rolls. I got a nine. Oh, yes, please. That's amazing. Please, we gotta win this, boys. <gasps> we won that battle. We got some war score finally. Amazing. Now we just gotta take the fort. I haven't embraced the Renaissance yet, but I am gonna get my uh, military tech because this is gonna be of massive help, especially since the uh, Shabianid cavalry is insanely overpowered. So obviously the next step is to just get some cavalry units. Gonna get a loan first and let's start recruiting the Shabianid. We might be outnumbered a bit, but we do have the better cavalry units and I think we also got one military tech over them. They're still military five and I'm military six. All right, we're actually crushing them. The military tech difference is massive right now. Look at this. We crushed 14,000 of their units. That gave us 11 war score. I would love to go onto this side of the map, but I'm 100% sure their fleets are going to try and prevent me from doing that. Yep, look at them. They're already coming here. Can I actually make it in time? Oh, <gasps> I've made it in time. What? Yo, you are too slow, Portugal. You're useless, Portuguese fleet. You're absolutely useless because I made it on the other side. I'm curious. Can we actually piece them out now? Do we have the war score? We got 63 war score. Uh, technically, if I don't get the province of Garb or something like that, I could take Malacca. But I'd rather, especially since they are going to destroy me if I get on that side of the map. I'm just going to chill on my African parts, okay, boys? Sometimes it's really important that you peace out early before you get your ass kicked. Wait, what? Form Moroccan Kingdom? Ew, no. We just killed them. Why would we form them, guys, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say it's a raid o'clock, boys? Yes, it is. Time to fix our economy. Holy mother of 70 ducats from Aragon. Very nice of you, Aragon. I absolutely adore you. Truce with Tunis over, you say? Well, it's about time. Let's go ahead and attack them. We want to completely crush them up now. Oh, and their troops are actually struggling with rebels. So this is going to be a very easy war. I mean, it's going to take a while to siege these two forts down. I'll let their army roam around whilst I'm getting rid of their forts first. Okay, seriously, is it just me? Look at this. I got 21 and minus 7 on this one. Already 21%. Really, dude? And they freaking got the why the fort so fast okay we got the fort as well so we can use these boys to take back our stuff hot ah, damn austria is just going around puing everybody they already pued bohemia now they're attacking hungary to pu them okie dokie boyos let's get a new general and let's uh, fight off these boys this is a defensive battle so it should be fairly easy for us to win it that go we won that nowhere left to run tunis that was the end of the line for you the entire tunisian army is now trapped on this fort I cannot get to them because they have naval superiority. I only have a few ships. Because of that, I'm just going to wait until I get a little bit more war score from here and peace out with whatever provinces I can take. I'm going to peace them out now before the rebels take that fort. I don't really want to fight the rebels. I can take all the stuff I want, even a little bit of cash. Whatever, man. Nine ducats is better than no ducats, all right? And look at our... Oh, God. This name placement is cancer. But hey, we can become a kingdom now. So we got one more diplomat. I actually read this completely different. They're supposed to have below zero relations with me and have the covert actions so i was improving relations with austria because i got the covert actions on them and i wasn't sure why it's not giving me the achievement so now we just got to get it on two more countries boys we got another spy discovered in portugal this time and we got another spy discovered in genoa sadly though the modifier we had from austria ran out so i gotta have another spy discovered so actually i can diplo vassalize fezan if i give them back the core that they have on cert so uh they're willing to give me a lot of money for this what 
171 for the province of Sirt? Bro, how do you even have that much money for Christ's sake? And now, as expected, they are willing to diplo vassalize. Let's just improve relations with them. And now we're getting 10 ducats on the plus with no loans. We're a proper stable economy, better than real life Romania. Savoy discovered my spy and I just got my achievement. Hell yeah, boys. There you go. Imposter syndrome as sus have three countries hostile to you after they discover you're a spy so until the next time check out this awesome video and i want to give a very big thank you to all of my channel members patreon members as well as my twitch supporters i really wouldn't be able to do this without all of your support